Guys, today we're going to look at wiring a standard British 13 amp square pin plug. Okay, now the tools you will need for this are an electrical screwdriver, probably a crosshead or Phillips style screwdriver, a small one, because some of these plugs have different uh, different types of screws in them and so it's always good to have a, a Phillips or crosshead type screwdriver by the side of you. A larger flathead screwdriver, potentially, potentially, um, in case um, the large screw to open the plug is a bit tight and you need a bit more um, oomph, uh, for want of a better word, than you can get from the ordinary electrical screwdriver. You will need a craft knife of some description or a Stanley knife okay and preferably but not essential but preferably a set of wire strippers these are excellent tools I would thoroughly recommend any home toolbox uh, have um, a pair of those uh, they're useful for all sorts of wiring jobs they make stripping wire and so on a whole lot easier Okay, so that's the tools really that are essential. I shall move those out of the way for a moment and we'll now zoom in on the plug itself. Okay, so we can now see the plug in more detail. And what we have with the plug is we have a screw here that actually undoes the plug. Some, some plugs, uh, the plug comes in two parts. You can see there's a dividing line down the middle there. Um, and there's a screw in the centre here that mean that, that will unscrew and the two parts will, will, will come to bits. Um, some plugs have a screw, uh, have two of these, one on each, uh, diagonally opposite each other, one there and one there. It's quite rare. Normally, you will find one in the centre. These two screws are actually uh, connected to a plate inside the plug that is the wire clamp. Okay, so there's a little plastic band across between those two screws inside the plug that you trap the wire in to prevent it from pulling out um, when it's in situ and you and you you pull your mixer too far away from the wall. You know it prevents the wires from yanking out of the plug. So if we open this plug now, and I think I will probably, as I've pre-opened it, I will get away with using the electric screwdriver to open it. It's still a bit stiff. But there we are. If we now open this plug and we turn it up the other way, what we have now, you can see, there is we have the, the top of the plug, of course, and in here we have three terminals. There's one there with a screw in it. There's one there at the, the top of the plug with a screw in it, and one there at the other side of the plug with a screw in it. And here we have a little device that's the fuse. Okay, in this case it's got a 3 amp fuse in it. If you watch my other video about changing fuses, you will know that red is 3 amp, black is 5 amp, and brown is 13 amp. And in the other video it tells you all the different uses for those different types of fuses. Okay, when they are appropriate for going in a plug, dependent upon what device the plug is attached to. So that's the plug open now, and you will see also, just there, is the plastic strip that I was on about that's connected by the two screws. If we look over the other side, those two screws there are coming out here, as you can see, and there's a plastic strip in between them that will clamp the wire eventually. So my dog's decided she's going to bark at something out of the window and join us in our make plug connecting activities. So, there we have it so far. Now we need to concentrate on the wire. Now, 13 amp plugs only ever should be connected to flexible wire. What do I mean by that? Well, if we zoom out a little, let me show you a uh, piece of Let's zoom this out so as we can see what we're doing. This is flexible wire. This is, it's not, um, it, well, the other type of wire you will get is, is in a flat kind of shape. 
and it, it bends and it stays bent. Okay, and that's solid core wire. It has inside it solid cores of copper. That is only used for wiring, um, permanent wiring around houses, you know, to come out at sockets or to come out at light roses in the ceiling and so on and so forth. The only type of wire you should ever put in a 13 amp plug like that is flexible wire. So this just bends back. Okay, so inside here, the wires, the metal wires, the copper wires that conduct the electricity are actually made up of, of little strands, braided wire. So they're not solid and so it's it's flexible. Okay, so that is the that's that's the type of wire we should be using to put inside this plug. It's got three wires in it. I think I'll zoom back in now. Um, and show you. If we zoom back in, we can now see in more detail. You will see there, if I can get it in focus, there are three different coloured wires in there. There's a brown one, a blue one, and it might be difficult to see at the moment, it won't once I open it up, is a yellow and green one. The brown one is the live wire, the positive side of the electricity, the blue one is the negative wire, and the yellow one is the earth, and that is the protection. If there is a short circuit in the device, then the electricity from the the positive side will go down the main down the, the earth wire and to safety rather than down your arm and do you a mischief. Okay, so they're the three different types of wire. And they go in three specific um, connections inside the plug. Okay, so you ask yourself, how do we get to those wires? How do we get them from there into the plug? Well, the first thing we have to do is, is make available a decent length of, um, of these individual wires out from their insulating white sheath. And to do that, we use a craft knife. Okay, now you very carefully need to make sure that you cut down this insulating wire, uh, the, the insulating um outside of the wire such that you do not cut any of the uh, any of the insulation on the individual wires that are inside it okay so we don't want to nick that so we get our craft knife and we just run it down not too far in the, the secret is not to not to try and cut through and out the other side just just make a decent score line and make it about two inches what would that be four four five centimeters in Roman Catholic um, and hopefully then you can get your nail in between these two and just prise it open and with any luck and good judgment you will have managed there we are to pair that wire back from these from from the inside wires without having caused these any damage. And now you can clearly see that that's uh, yellow and green, that's blue and that's brown and they correspond to whatever I, you know, how I said earlier. Now you need to check carefully that you haven't done any damage to these three wires. I don't appear to have done. If you have, unfortunately you need to start the process again. Just chop it off clean and cut through more carefully this time until you make sure that you haven't done any damage to the insulation on any of those three wires. Now what we want to do is trim back this um, spare white insulation, which we can do by just simply using the craft knife, making sure that we don't cut our fingers off in the process. And let's see if we can do it on the table here. As you can see, just go through it like that. There we are, make a decent job of it. So now we have the three wires. Okay, and now they need to have the insulation taken off of them uh, a bit because we need obviously the bare copper wire inside here to go into each of the terminals and the plug. Okay, and now this is where our wire cutters come in, our, our um, wire strippers come in extremely handy because they have on the handle part here different size um, uh, I don't know, little jaws, I suppose you would call it, that are used for stripping a wire. And for these, this ordinary um, flexible cable that we've got here, you need to put, uh, you need to strip it by putting the, the wire in, can you see that, into, and put it in the one millimetre size. They'll be marked from six millimetres up the top to 0.75. Put it in the one millimetre um, 
jaws and just close those over okay so that's shut about with about a centimeter to a centimeter and a half of, uh, of of your wire showing and then just pull and there you have it it's stripped if you can see that it has stripped that wire okay that piece that piece of insulation has been stripped off of there okay now Get the, the exposed wire in your fingers and twist it so as it's nicely, if you twist it, it'll make it so as all the strands are nicely twisted together. Make that nice and firm. And then with your fingernail, just bend that in half. Okay? So that's what you want to end up with, something that looks like that. Okay, with a bit of camera wizardry, you will see by magic all three of those have now been done I didn't bother to waste your time sitting watching me do all three of those you've seen how I did the the blue one which is the negative and now I've done all three in exactly the same manner okay so now all we need to do is put them in the correct terminals first thing you need to do with the terminals if we put the wire down for the moment all you need to do with the terminals is make sure that the screw in the terminal is nice and loose, okay? So that, so that the hole, there's a hole inside this. Let me take this one out. I can actually take this out and show you. There's a hole inside there, which you can see. Okay, and the screw actually screws down into that hole um, and clamps the wire. The wire pokes through that hole, the screw screws down and clamps the wire shut. Make sure the screw is nice and well out of the way of the hole on each of the terminals. Then all you have to do with a little bit of dexterity is first make sure, we spoke about the wire clamp earlier, make sure that your wire is underneath the wire clamp to start with. Okay, that's the first essential that's the biggest mistake Oops, just dropped everything and it all falls to bits the biggest mistake that people make of course is that they don't put the wire underneath the wire clamp so that's the first job is to make sure that the wire goes underneath your wire clamp which i can do by it. there we go so that's now in place underneath the wire clamp and we now have the three wires here okay and the easiest way to remember this, it will be actually written on the plug, or stamped on the plug, should I say, if you can see in the plastic, it will be embossed in the plastic. The easiest way to remember it is the live goes into the, if you can remember two, then there's a process of elimination of the other one. Is the live, which is the brown one, goes into the terminal that is connected to the fuse, which is this one here. Okay. So that goes into the terminal that is connected to the fuse. I just poke that in the hole there. Right, okay, that gets poked in the hole and you tighten down then the screw onto it. Nice and tight. And that's that in there. Make sure you don't trap the plastic um, insulation make sure that you screw the screw down onto the bare copper not onto the plastic insulation or else you won't make a good connection and that could cause problems um, quite drastic problems really the yellow and green wire the earth wire if you remember that that then has to go to the furthest the furthest terminal okay that goes to the end terminal now I can just pop that one up for ease, poke that in there, okay, so that's in there. Screw up the screw nice and tight. Okay, screw up the screw nice and tight. There we have it, and that can slip in there. So the final one by process of elimination is the blue which is the negative and I can lift that up as well quite nicely that uh, that 
pin comes out quite nicely and I can poke that in there okay without too much difficulty there we go that's now that's nicely in there and I can then screw that up tight okay there we go that's that screwed up tight and when they're all in place all back nicely and tidily put it tuck any spare wire in okay and then we can put the other screw for the wire clamp back in place turn the thing over tighten that up so as the wire the cable is clamped nice and tightly in place now that's that tighten up the other one okay so that now has your cable clamp you can see there is now nicely bridging across the uh, uh, across the, the the main part of the cable clamping it in nice and tightly all your wires are nice and neatly in place all of them connected up give them a last little tweak to make sure they're all tight okay so that one and that one and then it's just a matter of putting the lid on and doing up the main the main screw and that hey presto is how we wire up a mains plug okay till next time tara